It's not a real job. Am I too short for that? I mean, technically you are. The first few agencies, I was such a nervous wreck. What happens after I sign with you? Like. Good afternoon. This is episode two of trying to sign with a modeling agency as a short 5'7 Asian girl because I would like to skip class again to walk for Dior. I also need to prove to the incels on TikTok who made a lot of nasty comments when I told my story of how I walked for Dior. There was a lot of comments like, oh wow, I'm really glad Dior is lowering their beauty standards. I do not stand for this slander, how dare you? It's always those nameless people on TikTok users whose username is literally like user 128734 and has like a Genshin profile picture, follows like 4,000 people and has like three followers and all three of them are bots. Yeah, those people are really mean and I am on a mission to prove them wrong. But anyways, thankfully out of the 20 bajillion agencies that I applied to, mm -hmm. a few of them reached back to me and said, we'd love to have a meeting with you to see, you know, potentially if we want to sign you. I was like, ooh, okay. Yeah, that just goes to show that if I can do it, you can do it too. So if you want to model, you guys should go for it. But anyways, this is just how all of the meetings went. Over the next two weeks, my after school routine looked kind of like this. Get home from school, put my backpack down, get pretty, and open my laptop for a Zoom meeting. The first few agencies, I was such a nervous wreck. But with time, I was picking up on what exactly the agencies were looking for. Why do you want to model? Like, is it a passion? Did it come like, what do you want to do with it? Where do you want to like grow? How do you see yourself in the future? So how does that translate to your future pursuits like for college or any kind of career separate from modeling or in tandem with modeling? So have those stories and points ready. I feel like to be a successful model these days, you need to be more than a face and a body that fits. You need a story and at this point i was even challenging them back on what they could do for me as an agency i wanted to ask what sets you apart from every other modeling mother agent what differs you from every other modeling agency out there from their responses i could gauge out which agency was the right fit for me and if i'd enjoy working with them in the future if they don't have a proper answer for you maybe that really isn't the right agency for you because as much as you'd like to be an asset for them they need to be an asset to you and i think it just makes you high value when you can confidently ask those questions back keep in mind once you sign with them you're going to be locked in with them for a few years and if you aren't able to feel comfortable in a virtual online meeting, then you most definitely will not enjoy working with them. So pay close attention to how you feel and always trust your gut feelings. And don't just sign with someone because you feel like that's like your only option or whatever. There will always be a better option that rolls around. Another question that I asked them was if they felt like my height would be a deterrent to doing runway. Am I too short for that? If even my agency is iffy about placing me in runway, then I know for sure that I won't be getting any runway jobs. I mean, te technically you are, but I think the socials help a lot. So I don't mm -hmm. think there's gonna be an issue. And I work with so many agencies who don't. And that's why I don't, I don't care. Well, Kate Moss was short and she made it really big. I think that today's society, the height is not all that matters. It's also your personality and what you present and what you defend as a human being. Mm -hmm. And I think the fashion industry is actually changing and accepting those norms. Because you actually have this cause that you defend and that you fight for, it's actually opening new doors. I needed someone to believe in me just as much as I believed in myself. Except there was one problem. So because you're underage, um, we would have to speak with your parents if uh, we were to offer you a contract. Do they know that you're looking for representation and such? Hi, Dad. Um, there's like a few agencies that want to sign me for modeling. And I was wondering like if you'd be able to like get on call with them and meet with them because I'm a minor. What? <laughs> it won't. Okay. Okay, it won't affect my schoolwork. Uh, let me think about it, okay? This is, this is not an easy mission. Because it's a uh, model line. Mm -hmm. Again, isn't, you know, it's not a real job. They're just making illusions. Right. You don't need to worry about that. And I'll make sure my grades stay up. 
and I do well on my SATs. Are you absolutely sure? I'm absolutely sure. Sometimes, not always, they'll ask you to step back and just like show a 360 of your body, even if you did include digitals of those. Can we see you head to toe? Can you uh, organize a campus? Can we look at your. You can't really get like a full body of me, but I can send you a picture. Uh, so make sure you're always wearing form fitting clothes. Don't wear like a freaking t shirt on top and then like pajama pants on the bottom. I did make that mistake, so I had to like turn my camera off and be like, yeah, just one second, I need to change. They might also ask you for more supplements to your material, like a walking video. Down the dorm room hallway to find somewhere to film. Oh, that is dark and scary. Is this like a suspicious hallway to film my walking video in? Take long strides, but these boots make it kind of hard to feel like I'm on a trip. You won't. Shut up. Lastly, it's important to remember that at the end of the day, modeling is a business and you are basically a product to these agencies and clientele that buy you. So whenever you have a rejection coming your way or if someone doesn't respond, never take that personally. I think I applied to like, what, 40 agencies and I only heard bad from less than 10 and I'm fine. Don't take those things personally because you will find an agency that actually sees potential. And just don't sell yourself short. Any agency would be lucky to have you. And if that one in particular doesn't seem appreciative or it seems like they're trying to lowball you, move on. There is most definitely a better option out there for you. Also, there are a bunch of things that are not even related to modeling that you could use to sell your- For example, I talked so much about my social media and my work on Asian body positivity and abolishing those stereotypes about Asian women. I even talked about how I could speak multiple different languages and I have a very diverse cultural background. Those things, like, I know is not the, like, the first thing that comes to mind when you think, oh, what do I need to tell the agencies? But trust me, it will help you to, like, formulate a story and stand out from other I ended up deciding on a fusion management agency which fit both my criteria of having impressive clientele and a personalized experience. Okay, so this is my outfit that I'm going to be using for to be taking my digitals and to do the walk. And let me show you guys something. Let me show you guys some magic. Okay, so first, you take a hair tie, then you tie right here, and then make sure to like pull it really hard so it cinches your waist. And then makes a little tail, tuck it in, boom, it's gone. And these are my pants from my old boarding school, which <laughs> they were super racist, but at least I got these sick pants because what I do is I unzip it halfway and then I tuck this in and It's giving body. What should I do with my facial expressions? Like, can you tell me what it looks like? Do what you're doing before. I don't know what I was doing. I was just like squinting. Don't squint. Keep your eyes okay, open. I do it naturally because I have really bad eyesight. Yes. Center yourself, my dear. One more time? Yeah, you're not centered. Walk in a straight line. You got it. Was it one more time? Yeah, you lost the range of motion in the back. Arms were good from the front and the back, they look stiff. All right, bud, one last time. Three, two, one, hit it. You kind of ate for the first part. I don't know, do it again. Try it. Never mind, never mind, control your shoulders. Good turn. Back walk looked great up. Fierce, good. Walk in a straight line, though. 